Hey everybody, uh, this video is being uh, started again. Take two. Hey everybody, this video that I'm doing is in response to one of the questions that I had or comments, which was a question on my video of doing a jug, Connie asked if I could do a different view of my hand placement so she could see it a little bit closer. So I've moved my camera to the opposite side of the wheel and she also asked about showing how I get a jug off the wheel without making it go all to pieces, as she says. Or having hand prints, I think is what she wanted. So I'm going to uh, do another jug before I get started on working on my face jugs and try to show her uh, what she wanted so you guys enjoy and then after I get through with this I'm going to start working on the other jugs I made for face jugs and I'll get a video of that up also uh, it might be a day or two before I get it up I'm going to get this one up first so let me adjust the camera. Um, let me see how I'm looking. I hope this gives a better view, Mike. I've got stuff on this side of the wheel, so it's in a precarious position. But hopefully, this will help. Okay. This is three pounds of clay. Centered up. Still have a little, a little bit of trouble centering occasionally with a larger piece of clay. a piece of dry clay out of my, off the edge of my water bucket. Okay. So we're going to go down to the right head a little bit. Open it up. Got a bubble in it from why got that piece of dry clay in it. Heard it pop. Okay. Let me uh, check my depth. That's good. It's about like that. About a little over a quarter, maybe. Mm -hmm. Make sure you compress the bottom well. Okay. Now, I do, I'm sort of odd as far as my pulling up. Um, sometimes I do this number and just get it in a little bit, such as that. And then a lot of times I pull up with my fingers and my inside. My outside fingers goes a little bit low. I'm going to go in, push in here to push that clay at the bottom in to go up. Um, some people knuckle. I, I can do knuckle but 
when I knuckle it's a little bit more over here but it's the same concept either way knuckles a little bit stronger fingers um, works your fingers a little bit more but it's just what's more comfortable to me and you'll see different people do it different ways but you can see I'm trying to pull it in show my, slow my wheel down a little bit and it's still relatively thick at this point you see it's still out here so watch it so I'm gonna push in at the bottom so I'm gonna wheel down and again pull back up and the inside hand is more support than anything I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. Okay. Now you'll notice that it's fairly straight, but it's still tops trying to come out a little bit, and I lift, left it a little heavy at the top. For a jug, you always want to leave a little extra at the top. Mm. And so I'm gonna collar it in, and I always collar it in just small enough so I can get my hand in. The smaller you keep the top as you turn up in doing a closed form the easier it will be to get that form closed in to make you spout or a vase same thing with a vase anything you want to do that will help with that okay got a little bit extra clay on the bottom so I clean that off just use my thumb um, another way you can turn two instead of fingers you can use it some people use a sponge I have done that um, and just again still using my fingers push down and my inside all I'm doing is above it a little bit like that and pushing in at the bottom and that's just holding my wall steady and then as I come up I come up at the same time so hope this hope it helps um, so you can do it that way or you can do a thumb I mean a knuckle we call it a knuckle pull and as you get taller and taller, you slow your wheel down. And to there. Okay. Pull it in a little bit more. I think I'm going to do one more. One more pull. I'll do another knuckle pull this time. Well, I'm going to do a finger. It's just easier for me. Yeah, that's pretty good. Got it. Thin it out. I shape a lot with my hands. Um, you can use a rib to shape, shape too. That's up to uh, each person. <clears throat> if you will go to um, one of my videos of David Garner, turning, he's turning some rack pieces for horsehair raccoon. He gets a cylinder, a straight cylinder, and then he goes in and uses his rib the shape so you can do that as well and you're also still pulling up a little bit you can see my height I'm still gaining a little bit of height let's take a little bit of play off
And you don't want your walls too thin before you start shaping, because when you start shaping, your uh, walls are going to get thinner as well. So I've got this a little bit wide at the top. Remember, keep it as many points. You know, some do it this way. I do it. This is just my way of doing it. I'm cover up a little bit. It's a little bit larger than I want. Okay, that's better. Okay, as your collar in, it gets thicker. So I'm going to pull up again the top okay. <clears throat> not careful you see trying to fall here. I've got wall a little bit too thin there. Okay. You can see I'm still keeping that extra clay at the top for this allows me to do my spout and remember when you're turning something with the top that depending on what kind of clay you're using you're going to have shrinkage so you don't want to go too small on your spout or you have a little teeny spout when, you, uh, when it dries and you fire it. And I appreciate Connie asking me questions. I'm by, by no means an expert, but I'll be glad to share how I do things. Okay, now, before I get ready to take it off, we'll clean the bottom up. And with something like this, <clears throat> there's not going to be any turning, so I want to have it as clean and trimmed at the bottom as I can. Might thumb it off a little bit. That's about it. Okay, I'm cleaning this slip off. Okay. Now, cut it with a wire. Okay, so it's cut off. And I'm going to clean my hands. The key thing with getting the jug off is you want your hands clean. So get all that extra clay off, off your hands, off your palm of your hands, I should say. And then dry your hand. The towel here. And I'm going to move the camera so you can see me pick it up and where I take it to. So bear with me. And then we'll take it to a different spot. Okay, 
let's see. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to just move it over here to the side. Got some boards. And all I do, see my hands are pretty clean, is you just come and gently hold it. Cup it with both hands close to the bottom. Especially if you got something that's narrow at the bottom, you're going to pick up. You don't want to push in. You want to just pick up and see how the top of my hands stay out. And just pull it towards you a little bit and pick up. And then set it over here. And as you can see, I did not change it anyways. Put any handprints. There might be a, a little bit of a fingerprints on it, but it's not going to be enough to, to make a difference. So, let me hope that helps. And hope that gives you some little hints. And so until next time, you keep playing in clay, and we'll see you. Bye.